So I got to go up and let some goats out. We're having to lock them up every night because of the coyote problem that we've been having. So I only have a few goats, okay? That's just, just to start there. I only have like, well, I had 12, now I have 10. But I got coyotes coming in. Predators can wipe you out quickly. I used to run about 50 head of goats on here years ago. And we, we had dogs. We had an Anatolian, and then we had an Anatolian Pyrenees cross. Oh, they, they took care of the, the, the coyote problems back then those days. And I, I know better than to put these goats out here by themselves. But I'm having to pin them up every night to keep the predators away. We're going to have to find something. Either we're going to, have to put a dog out here or possibly a jenny, a donkey, uh, or something like that to help uh, keep these goats alive because the coyotes will come in and they will kill them quickly. I lost two goats in one night. They came in and, and they killed one and they completely took another one. I can't find it anywhere. Uh, and I, the next day when we found the goat that was dead, um, and the coyotes had eaten part of that goat. We found that evening, we found a coyote that came in. Unfortunately, I, there's not, not a whole lot I could have done at that moment with that coyote. He was already in and eating on that carcass. This is a problem that we deal with sometimes. And many of you that have goats or, or other uh, farm animals, then you know what I'm talking about. Predators can wipe you out quickly. Um, I know they're hungry and we get that. But the problem is, is that um, they come after your livestock. And not only when they come after your livestock, they can kill your bank account really quick with, with killing your goats and your animals. Well, it's morning time. We need to let the goats out real quick. We're gonna talk about guardian animals. So, so I'm not claiming to be an expert on guardian animals, but I've had dogs, I've had llamas, I've had emus. Back uh, several years ago, we ran about 50 head of goats and we ran two dogs. We ran an Anatolian Pyrenees cross. And uh, those dogs worked really well. The, the dogs took care of the goats very, very well. They hurt them. They 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 take them places. They go anywhere they go. Uh, if 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 the dog if a goat can get through a fence, the dog can get through the fence, and the dogs would go with them. Matter of fact, the goats have left our property a couple times because they can find every hole in the fence there is, and they would leave, and the dogs would go with them. Well, I like dogs the best. Just to be honest, right up front, dogs are the best guardian animal in my own opinion. So let's talk about dogs for just a moment. I told you a minute ago that dogs are probably the best um, guardian animal that I've owned. And that's, I, I, I stand by that. Um, dogs have a fairly short lifespan though. Uh, anywhere between, I don't know, 15 years is about all you're gonna have on a dog, unfortunately. Um, so they have a really short life cycle. The other thing is, is on dogs, they require, different food you have to feed them you know the dog foods or <clears throat> things like that <clears throat> and that's not a problem i mean it is not i mean you you have to separate them out to 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 feed them the dog food so that the goats don't eat their food now we used to feed our dogs with the goats the goat the dogs would defend themselves they would defend their food they would run the goats off it was not a problem but when the problem comes in is if you're going to leave town for a few days or you're going to leave for uh, any reason or, or they were going to have to fend for themselves or feed themselves. Now you can set up pens to where the, only the dog can get in. And the way you do that is you use horizontal bars, kind of like this, where you, your bars, your bars go across horizontally. And then the dog can get through this, but the goat normally will not. Now the goats will go under this one. This is not an example of, of what I'm referring to. You want a horizontal bars that only the dog can get through, not the goats. Now the kids are gonna go through it and that's a normal thing. But the dogs I had were really gentle with the kids, always gentle with the kids. Uh, 
llamas. I never had any luck with llamas. Matter of fact, we before we got dogs, we started losing goats every night, and we bought llamas. Well, when I put the llamas in there, I bought two llamas, and I put the llamas in there. The just in a few days, I lost about five goats a night. That was not a good plan. So we got rid of the llamas, and I got dogs. And from that point forward, I really didn't have any more problems. Now, if somebody might say, hey, you know, I, I use llamas and they work well. Okay, fine. If they work well for you, that's great. But they didn't work for me. And that's a big problem I had with llamas. Llamas were not the animal of choice for me. Um, we tried them. They allowed our goats to still be killed by the coyotes. I don't think they could keep up with the coyotes. They didn't make enough noise. They didn't, I, I don't know what the, what the story is there. But the llamas did not work. We tried one llama. We tried two llamas. I didn't like the llamas. We did try emus. The problem with emus is emus have a tendency to wander sometimes. And we had one emu that actually just wandered completely off the property. Somehow it jumped the fence. It got over onto the neighbor's property and it would wander around. And uh, then we had an emu that showed up here out of nowhere. And that emu, same thing. Come in, it didn't bother the goats, didn't hurt anything. But it really, I, I didn't see the emus as anything that was doing any good in protection. Now, that somebody else may have had better luck than I did with emus. But I didn't have good luck with emus. So what I've decided to do was try donkeys. I've never had a donkey in my life. I've had horses before, but they're not guardian animals. Uh, and we got rid of all of our horses and we're, we're not probably never gonna have horses again. But the donkey is, is new for me. Donkey has been gilded. He's not missed any meals. Uh, I would estimate him to be right around 10 years old. Um, he's been with livestock before, but we're not sure if he's ever been with goats. Uh, but he's bonded pretty well, as you can see. Uh, they, he, he was bedded down with them last night. How do we bond this donkey and goats together? Well, the, basically, I put them into two separate pens next to each other so they can see each other. And during that process, they began the bonding. Um, some people may say, no, I'll just throw them in. No, don't do that. I, I strongly suggest you not do that. You want to let that donkey and those goats bond. And once they become bonded, they become part of the herd. And donkeys are herd animals. Goats are herd animals. We want those, we want them to bond together as a family. And that's what we want. So you allow that time to pass. They bond together as a family and they become one unit, so to speak. And so the donkey don't have a tendency to walk off away from the herd. Now donkey here has done pretty well. He is not, uh, he has not been aggressive. He's, he's been really docile. He will not let me get close enough to continually to touch him or pet him, which is okay. I'm not looking for the pet. Now we will have to probably, every once in a while, we'll have to pin him. We'll have to figure out how to trim his hooves. And uh, he's like a horse. I mean, you have to take care of them like a horse. And he, so keep that in mind if you do get donkeys. But dogs, other animals all require some type of maintenance if you will so so one of the other things that we need to cover really quick is that if you have dogs and you're going let's say you have a pet and you're going to go out to the barn with your dog it's kind of questionable how the donkey's going to react especially a new donkey donkeys my from my understanding do not like dogs and so therefore it may attack your dog especially a new donkey you do not want to just go out and take your dog into the pen with that donkey. There could be uh, some circumstances there that will not be pleasant. So how do I feel about donkey so far? Well, if he stays with the goats and he keeps the coyotes off, all good. Till next time. Thanks.